Massive day for Apple here at Apple headquarters in Cupertino, just south of San Francisco. I've flown here as a guest of Apple for their September event, which they call Glow Time, which we think and we know was a reference to Apple intelligence and the way Siri now glows around the iPhone in the next generation iOS, iOS 18, which will launch primarily with the new iPhone 16. So much to unpack from today's event, starting with simple things like the Apple AirPods. So there's a, a new entry level AirPods. I think they started just over $200. They're the original design for the AirPods. So open, open ear, not a silicon tip, but a shorter stalk. And there's a second version that has active noise canceling and they're $299. So pretty good price for, for a solid product. And AirPods are the, the most popular headphones on the market. The, uh, the AirPods Max, which were launched four years ago, have also got an update. It's actually a very simple update. New colors and USB-C. There's actually no hardware changes to the AirPods Max. They're still $900 and they'll launch on September 20. The AirPods Pro 2 have not been updated, so there's not a new version of them, but there's a whole range of software features gonna come to those over the next little while, which basically add health. So we're talking about hearing health here. You'll be able to do a hearing test, which Apple say will be clinically approved. They'll need certification from the TGA to do that, but a hearing test. And if your hearing needs, or the hearing test shows that you need hearing aids, the AirPods Pro 2 can act as hearing aids. So there's a feature there that essentially turns them into hearing aids, which will upset the hearing industry in a big way um, because Probably a lot of people would prefer to wear AirPods than a, than a standard hearing aid. So keep your eye on that one with uh, health and TGA approval. The Apple Watch is celebrating 10 years. It was uh, 10 years ago at the Flint Center here um, outside of uh, Apple's headquarters, but still in Cupertino where they announced uh, the new iPhone, but then one more thing. And that one more thing was the Apple Watch. Now we're at the Apple Watch Series 10 is the new iteration. It's thinner, it's lighter, and there's a couple of new finishes on it. Uh, but there's a range of software features that will come to most Apple Watches as well. Uh, there is no new Apple Watch Ultra. So it's not a third generation, but the Apple Watch Ultra 2 now comes in a black titanium, which looks absolutely epic. And a new uh, black titanium Melanese loop wristband for it as well, which again, looks sensational. So that'll sell very well. So the Apple Watch Ultra doesn't get a physical update, but a new, uh, new version of that in a, in a color. But all the attention, of course, is on iPhone, iPhone 16, and pretty much what we expected. Four, um, four new models, iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. They come in five colors, a green, a blue, a pink, a black, and a white. Um, that there is an improved camera setting on that, but broadly it's about the camera button on the side. This is called the, the camera control, which is a very strange button. It's, it's not actually a physical button. It's, a, it's haptic control, it's touch sensitive. So you push it, it launches the camera, you push it again, it takes a photo, but you can kind of half push it to bring up settings. You can uh, swipe it to adjust those settings. A lot of intricate stuff there that we didn't see coming from all the leaks that we'd seen in the uh, months leading up to this iPhone 16 launch. That camera control button exists on all four of the iPhone 16s. The iPhone 16 get the, uh, uh, the A18 sorry, uh, chip, which is actually a step up from where they would normally go. They've actually skipped a whole generation of silicon there. The A18 chip will give uh, power to the uh, entry level iPhone 16 and 16 plus, but the Pro models get an AI a18 Pro chip. Now, the Pro models need more processing power for the more um, high-end computational uh, technology, as well as the additional camera features, better cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro, including 4K at 120 frames per second. Um, but most importantly, all of these phones ready for Apple intelligence. Now, Apple intelligence will launch in US English only, but you can use it in Australia by changing the language setting on your phone, but it will come to Australian English uh, later in the year, around December. Apple Intelligence is probably going to be the best of all the AIs out there. I think it, at, at a glance, it betters anything Microsoft and Samsung are currently doing. And while ChatGPT gets all the headlines, the thing about the iPhone is with Apple Intelligence, you're talking about strong and strict privacy and security at its core. Huge day for Apple. Uh, all the details are online right now. And uh, all those products, every single product announced today goes on sale September 20. The iPhones are cheaper than last year.